Hey y'all, so I'm here with a Bojangles eating video. Um, I just have the kids meal, like I think it comes with like one chicken leg and one side, but I add an extra and it comes with a drink, but I gave my drink to justice. Okay, so I got, um, I always get my mashed potatoes and like the white gravy on the side and then I get macaroni and cheese. So, first things first, let's see, which is, okay, so that's my white gravy. Mac and cheese. And my mashed potatoes. So I have this little hair that's like flipping out. Oh well. So, I'm currently in the midst of arranging my room um, so after when I eat this, I have to finish up and it's super fun, right? Not really, but. I have some books that's been sitting in my floor and in my like little shelf that I have all my perfumes and lotions. I removed my lotions and I'm gonna put them in like this little cute little thing and then I'm gonna put my books in the shelf where my make, or where my perfume is about said makeup because I have to organize my makeup too. Uh, I don't really purchase a whole lot of Bath and Body Works anymore or their like lotions, so I don't have a whole whole lot left. I've got a lot. So, like, when I say I don't have the whole lot, I got a lot. But compared to what I normally have, I don't. Um, I might show y'all. Do, like, a, what I have left from Bath and Body Works type video or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I kind of got burned out on Bath and Body Works. Um, and I don't use it that much. I've been trying to use up like my perfumes. I had this thing for the longest where I didn't um, want to use up like my high dollar perfumes. I would save them. So like they would sit for a while and I'm like, you know, I need to start using this stuff. So. The past year I've been gravitating toward like all of my perfumes and all that good stuff. So, so, and I'm not used to a whole lot of body sprays. So here's my gravy and here is my, I love their white gravy. So here's a hint. And like, so normally they'll give you black or brown gravy, but I always say white gravy on the side. And when you do that, you get a whole huge amount of white gravy, like a whole bunch. And if you like white gravy like I do, it's a good little um, hack, a Bojangles hack. There's a bee. So I'll just take it and dip my taters in it. So my daughter woke up the other day, I think it was Friday, with like a cold or allergies or something, like she was completely hoarse, and I was giving her medicine. I take Benadryl every night because of my allergies, and this morning I woke up feeling like I have cold or something. I was coughing, I can feel like right here, it was just like congestion or something. It's weird. It might be allergies. I don't know. She said she's feeling better today. Um, okay, now. So, what I'm going to do for my sauce. Bojangles was extremely cheap today. They only gave us one ranch or one honey mustard and two of the honeys. We like using honey on our biscuits. So I gave Justice the honey mustard. <clears throat> and so when I was growing up back in the day, we didn't have a whole lot. 
and like we would make things do make things stretch and i remember doing this right here so let me show y'all just got that in my hair so you get some mayonnaise It's two ingredient mayonnaise and you get mustard. I would dip this on my chicken all the time and it was kind of like a honey mustard tangy type thing. Um, and this is what I'll do. Growing up. I, I haven't done this in a while. So you just mix it. And so it's perfect. It's tangy, but it's got like that creamy taste to it. So it's great. Okay. So I only have one piece of chicken. So I only got the kids meal because I, I wasn't really all that hungry. Well, I didn't wake up till 1030 today. I never do that. I woke up at 7 because I had to get up and pee. And then Opal was still asleep. So by the time I went back to bed, she was up. So I took her out. I skimmed through my phone. I looked through Facebook. My YouTube messages and crap like that. Or comments. I literally went back to sleep. And didn't get up till like 10.30, 10.45. I just didn't get out of the bed till 11 something. I just wasn't feeling good. The sleep was phenomenal though. Like I really needed that sleep. I have to get up super early for work. And me and this lady today was discussing something. I had to go to the store. This is so good. If y'all haven't tried this combination, if you like a little bit of tang, get you some of this. Um, So, me and this lady was discussing at the store. I have napkins in here and I brought some out here. Mine are prettier though. Um, so, if I'm not up by 6 or 7, I feel guilty every time. If it's on the weekend, I feel like I have to be up by 7 or 8. And I've always done that since my kids were young. I don't know what the deal is about that. But, I have been so tired and so like mentally drained and exhausted, I guess, with work and, like, worrying about my brother and all this kind of crap. So, this morning, I was like, dude, I'm sleeping in. I went back to sleep. I didn't mean to go back to sleep. I didn't wake up till, like, the time that I told you guys. But, anyways, we were talking about it at the store, and, and she was like, she pulls, like, she works cleaning one day, and then she works this other job. And she's like, she's the same way. Like, she don't get home till 7. And she feels like she needs to do all this stuff. And so I'm like, I'm not the only one that feels obligated to get up at an early freaking time. But here lately, y'all, the older I get, I'm like, Psh. this is the bubbly sparkling water. It's coconut. It's super good. Oh my gosh. The coconut is on point. <clears throat> but when I slept in today, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt like I'd done something bad sleeping in that late. But my kids sleep in late. Like they sleep 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But that was a message from Timu. I 
I didn't even water my plants today. So I'll have to do that this afternoon. But <clears throat> Sunday's got here. It came by so quickly. And I'm not looking forward to getting up at 4 in the morning. At all. I have sweatpants on. I have this on and I'm burning freaking up. It's like, it was 82 degrees out here earlier. That was like two hours ago. So I'm, I'm assuming it's probably more than that by now. But anyways, we were discussing like, I mean, I get out and do things with my kids and all that stuff but besides that like if i don't have to do anything i would be 100 percent okay sitting on my couch watching netflix watching documentaries watching movies and not even care what else what's going on out here in the world is anybody else like that and i'm okay with that like i'm this sounds bad i sometimes i don't want to be around people i'm around people all the time now mind you not this is not including the nursing home i i love doing that but like, I'm talking about my current job and like Walmart shopping, like it's bizarre. So I don't know a lot of y'all can relate to that, how people are this day and time. It's bizarre. Um, so I'm okay with just like sitting on my couch doing my own thing. Normally, I would be out sun tanning or swimming, and now I'm like, I wanted to tan this summer, but now I'm still white. And here it is, almost July. I love some good chicken legs. I love chicken. Chicken's like my favorite meat, and I love steaks, I love ribs. I love all those things. I literally made too much of that sauce. Look. The lipstick doesn't come off. The review that I done, the best stuff ever. Like it's so great. <clears throat> I believe I'll wear that tomorrow to work. So pretty. Is that a stash? Like a mustache? Oh my gosh, I dread going in here and doing this. I had these pretty napkins, but I didn't use them. So, since my foot's better, I know that it's almost healed because this past week it started itching and when like that's a sign of healing so for two weeks i've not been able to walk swim or any of that kind of crap and i was i'm like i was glad that we didn't go to lake winnie yesterday because i was eerie of getting my foot in the water because it was like it's not all the way healed up but it's like 95 percent healed up than what it was like there's still some like little opening areas so i was thinking i Probably won't do the water stuff whenever we go, but we didn't even end up going, so. 
but it don't hurt as bad and it's itching so I know it's healing really good and so tomorrow Lord's willing I'm gonna start walking I want to lose at least 20 pounds. Meanwhile, I'm shoving my face with macaroni. It's hot out here. Yeah. Go. Scat. <clears throat> In all honesty, I could use a nap right now. After eating, I could feel sleepy, but I can't. I have so much I need to do. It is what it is. I'm full. I didn't eat my biscuits, so. Meanwhile, while I put on jogging pants, I'll never know. Out here in the 80, 90 degree weather. Anyways, guys, until next time, I hope everybody's doing good. All of you fathers out there, happy Father's Day. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.